So this video is going to be about exterior angles and the exterior angle theorem. Before we get started, let's make sure we have a firm understanding of what an exterior angle is and what an exterior angle is not. An exterior angle is formed by extending one side of my triangle. So I have this bottom part of my triangle. If I extend that side out, I here have formed an exterior angle. But I don't have to extend just that side or in that direction. I could have extended it this way. That gives me an exterior angle. It's not inside, but it's formed by extending one side of my triangle. Similarly, I could have extended this side. I extend this side. Here's my angle I just formed outside of my triangle. Exterior angle. I could have extended it in my opposite direction. Exterior angle or I could have extended this third side. Exterior angle would have been here, exterior angle could have been here. So that's what an exterior angle is. Now let's look at a couple of pictures real quick. One that is, yeah, that's an exterior angle. Because here's my triangle, I've extended this side, this angle would be, yes, it's exterior. Formed on the outside of the triangle by extending one side. This is not an exterior angle. Here's my triangle. This angle, though, was formed by extending this side and extending this side. That's extending two sides of my triangle, not an exterior angle. So now that we have a general idea about what it is and what it is not, let's take a look at some applications. Now, before we get the actual application of it, what is the actual theorem state? It says that that exterior angle is equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. That means this angle, angle 5, is exterior. It's formed by extending one side of my triangle. The measure of this angle, angle 5, is equal to angles 1 and 2 added together. My other interior angles that it doesn't touch. Measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2. Why? Well, that's because of two things, <clears throat> triangle sum theorem and linear pair. If I compare angle 5 to angle 3, I know they are supplementary. They're a linear pair. Angle 3 plus angle 5 equals 180. That's definition of a linear pair. But if I compare angles 1, 2, and 3, I know all three add to 180. That is triangle sum theorem. So measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 equals 180. Well, let me do a quick bit of algebra. If I subtract angle 1 and angle 2 from both sides, that's going to leave me with the measure of angle 3 equals 180 minus the measure of angle 1 minus the measure of angle 2. Now let me remove or kind of move this over a little bit and I'm going to show how we get to this as our final theorem and its substitution. I know the measure of angle 3 is equal to this. Algebra allowed me to conclude here. I'm going to substitute that into measure of angle 3 here. Get rid of angle 3 and leave 180 minus angle 1 minus angle 2 plus angle 5 equals 180. Now solve for the measure of angle 5. If I do my algebra right here and subtract 180 from both sides, goes away, that goes away. Add angle 1 to both sides, and add angle 2 to both sides, that goes away, that goes away, I'm left with measure of angle 5 equals measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2. That would be sort of an algebra proof without actually explaining in writing what we just did. It all goes back to the fact that this angle, my exterior angle, equals the sum of my remote interiors. Now, that's what it is, that's why it is, now let's get some practice. I know that this angle, x, 
is an exterior angle. I don't care about this angle so much in this problem because it's touching. I care about my other interior angles. X is my exterior angle. It's equal to the sum of the other interior angles. So it's equal to 44 plus 55 or 99. That's the simple application, the direct application. What about an algebra application? Same concept. Here's my exterior angle. This angle doesn't concern me right now because it's a linear pair. I'm more concerned about my other interior angles. These are the two angles added together that give me my exterior angle. That means my 9x plus 26, my exterior angle, equals, and I will add my 4x plus 8 and my 7x. Now it's a matter of doing a little bit of algebra to find what my x is equal to. I'll go ahead and give you a couple of seconds to solve that. If you need some time, press pause. And when we solve, we should get that x equals 9. There is a Canvas quiz in there, as a practice quiz, to go ahead and get practice with the exterior angle theorem. It is covered on your test. Please make sure you are prepared. If you need, well, if you need help or have questions, do not hesitate to come in and ask.